I'm still kind of taken aback that you can purchase a Switch even though the Switch OLED has been out now. Because why would you do that? Let me give you an example. Much like this rose here, beautiful, red, gorgeous, pops out, although it's kind of old and there's spiders in it. It's still, it's big. This thing is one rose off the ground. It's almost as big as me. But this, still a rose, tiny. It's still pretty, I guess. It smells like a rose, it's great but it's just not the same when it comes to vibrancy. And that is something that when it comes to video games, I, I just am realizing I don't want to trade in. Now that's not to say that if you have a Switch, you're not going to get a good gaming experience. And Because remember now, we all had Switches for years before the Switch OLED came out. But as it stands now, if you're looking to go out and purchase a Switch, maybe your thought is, I want to save money. I don't want to spend the 350 bucks. I want to only spend 300 bucks because a new one's coming out. Now I know, I know. What about docked? What about sitting on the couch? Well, that's a valid point. I mean, if you're looking to get the Switch and you're going to be playing it on the couch primarily, you're not really going to experience any differences at all, to be honest with you, because the Switch as itself, when docked, even though the OLED dock has a chip in it, it doesn't change the actual gameplay. Unless you use an external upscaler, which I do, I use the M Classic, you're gonna experience the exact same gameplay that you would if you had an OG Switch. But I still, I still would recommend using the OLED because you're eventually gonna be here in the bathroom. And there's nothing nicer than getting your Switch and playing it on the toilet. Now, I know that being in the bathroom is such a short amount of time in the grand scheme of things, but think about the portability aspect. You're thinking to yourself, I'm never gonna play that thing on the go. It just isn't gonna happen. It's not that you won't, it's that you have an option to. And when you have the option to, you're gonna to wanna to have the best experience possible. And I personally think that, you know, it's the difference between having toilet paper here, right? This works, this works great. Or having something like a dude wipe. This does the exact same job, except this is a more pleasurable experience. And the best part is this is not an ad. I just thought this was a good example. <laughs> so then there's the final question, which is what if I already own a Switch? Should I upgrade to the OLED? And I would say, well, you gotta ask yourself one very, very important question. And that is, do you play your Switch often? If you're a daily gamer and you play your Switch on a daily basis, I would honestly upgrade my Switch to the OLED. Because one, the Nintendo Switch actually functions better in handheld mode. I know, that sounds crazy. Now, of course, the performance things are marginal at best, but still, they function better. And two, I know it seems crazy to think, but it can actually breathe new life into old video games. I know going through Breath of the Wild and now Tatke, that game is beautiful. Tatke looks absolutely stunning, and I know that they did some work there, but when going through older games, Luigi's Mansion, Super Mario Odyssey, or even Mario Kart, the experience is just better. It actually gives you an opportunity or even encourages you to play more. So the question is actually for you now. Are you someone who thinks that the OLED is truly worth the extra 50 bucks or upgrading? I certainly think it is because I think playing games in handheld mode is the reason why I got a Switch. That hybrid system is there and I honestly split it down the middle. If you're looking for which OLED to get, this video I recommend a certain one or I mean you can probably find one on sale. All right, guys, as always, happy gaming.